Hey guys, welcome to game two between Arctic Turtle and Halcyon, aka Dark Matter. Dark Matter, I'll switch to Dark Matter here since it's the name on screen. Upper right hand corner is the pink Terran, bottom left hand corner we have the purple Zerg. This is going to be on Polypoid. Double check that, yep, Polypoid. Not sure why I missed that twice. Arctic Turtle game one just really showing why this current meta is very, very strong. I know Artosis has a lot of trouble with it. He didn't go as aggressive as the Mutalisk. With the Mutalisks, as we've seen a lot of uh, professional Zerg do or higher level Zerg go, part of that might be lag. I think it's particularly strong in the Korean space because Mutal this is kind of my rant here is, is like Mutalisks are stronger for Koreans because they're playing in such low latency compared to uh, US players where you have to, or US or foreigner players just generally, foreigners being anybody outside of Korea because it's the Koreans game. They have all the pros. Um, and so I feel like Mutalisks end up being less effective, or at least harder to manage, comparatively, as a result. Uh, so this is kind of the baseline meta. I almost wonder if in certain laggy situations, you have to, you have more, there's just a different build that foreigners have to go for. Anyway, Supply Depot alongside. This is, of course, a Canadian and a US player. So perhaps advantage to Art or Turtle, just because Mutalisks become viable again. I don't know. Although Medic Marines are really, I, I feel like Terran hits is hit by lag worse than the other two races. So yeah, you lose Mutalisks to Zerg, but Medic Marines, it feels like there's so much stutter fire that happens with Marines that I don't know. I'd like to hear someone who plays a lot of random or plays a lot of the different races comment on that. We are seeing a 12th hatch. And are we seeing a cross map scout? No, it looks like we're seeing a scout to the bottom right for Art or Turtle. Um, quick question. We have you round asking if we can do the alt tab colors and this comes up often enough that I want to cover it here. So, oh, hey, it worked here. So this is a special scenario. We'll go ahead and make it uh, red and red and blue because we can. So here's the thing. If it is a standard melee map that people make and I come in from the, uh, if I come in and play from, uh, let me pull this back. As an observer, this is off a of replay. It's not a cast, it's a live cast, but it's off a of replay. Um, if it is a melee match and I do the shift tab trick, everybody shows yellow because I'm the observer. However, if they go top versus bottom, we can sneak this sort of action where it turns red, blue, which is really nice. Actually, I like it. So in this instance, we're going to have red be order turtle, who's the aggressor. So we're shifting it all over again. So thank you for that comment, you round. Special shout out to you. Uh, I'll have to check that at the beginning of the match to see if that's, that, that's the possible case in each scenario. Bit of a risky command center there from Dark Matter. He didn't have quite eyes on anything and then an opted to build it as well. There are two eggs being produced and there's the third egg. And Dark Matter not uh, is going to wait to see. There is some distance where he might have been able to get a bunker or something down if there were, was some early Zergling aggression. Perhaps just relying on Art of Turtle to play more of a macro style. Bit of initial damage on spawning pool. And a second barracks. So it looks like kind of a standard build. No gas yet for Dark Matter. And it looks like, I assume Art of Turtle is going to do the similar build. We'll have to wait until he gets uh, full gas up again. Might wait to get rid of that SCV before he uh, does any additional action. But yeah, keeping it thin, sending out that initial Zergling to provide scouting information rather than a drone. Kind of another interesting aspect of Art of Turtle's play. Rather than going for a drone scout, he's going for that Zergling scout. And I'm wondering if this goes to a match three, if Dark Matter might... Um, that might be the reason this command center was built earlier, but it also... Might be an opportunity to do some early cheese or something along those lines. Zergling moving forward, is it going to die? It takes an initial shot, some nice reaction time. Marine starting to chase it down. Needs to be a little bit careful in the follow-up. A layer actually plopping down the natural expansion. The, and it's actually three hatch this time. So internal three hatch play. The SCV does in fact see that layer. So this is kind of like old school uh, style three hatch. And this is most likely going to be three hatch mutalisk. It is possible to see three hatch hydra. If it's three hatch hydra, it's more of an all-in build. But... I assume this is going to be, yeah, three hatch meter. This SCV is going to escape with a little bit of its life. We do see Zergling speed being upgraded. The Marines moving out to go ahead and make sure this SCV, uh, maybe make sure this SCV stays alive. SCV kind of really making the Zergling earn its work. Five Marines making their way to the natural, and the Zergling has not scouted it. And this is what I was talking about. Yeah, Art of Turtle in the dark, and this, with no Sun Colony here, and only one Zergling to provide any semblance of a defense. This is going to be scary for Art Turtle to try to defend. This Sunken Colony is going to be late if it even is planted. And blockaded by his own drone. 
So this, yeah, that might be GG right here. Five Marines making their way into the natural expansion, going after the Overlord first to try to put Art of Turtle in the red. Drones pulling off the line, maybe to provide some sort of defense. Halcyon can just kill drones, honestly. And that'll be enough. So he's going to lose these Marines. Some nice defense from Art of Turtle, considering he's completely exposed there. A little bit of a shuffle there, and only lost two drones for six, for six Marines. He actually ended up ahead in that defense. That was not what I was expecting. Stim just finished. He didn't have Stim, but wow. Six Marines making their way across. There are a handful of Medic Marines on the front, so Artificial isn't going to be able to continue with this aggression. But you can see he's transitioning into, it looks like, three Hatch Mutalisk. And uh, playing from there, we do have the Engineering Bay coming up, so and we do have four Barracks. So between the Marine, the, and that's also going to be a lighter Marine count to provide that surface area defense against uh, kind of that mid-game aggression. <clears throat> That, that was nuts. And didn't even lose that Overlord. I was expecting an easy kill. Artichurl did have some economic disruption, so it's going to slow down. Usually you want to produce um, nine Mutalisks immediately off this build if you can save the resources to, to do so. Unfortunately, this is going to slow down a little bit of that Mutalisk production for Artichurl. He's sitting at that 21 drones. Does have... You can't just sit back and continue to produce, and we'll see if he, he waits for it. The Medic Marines sweeping forward. They are might they might get some of these Zergling kills before those Mutalisks are in play. No level one weapons this time. Level one weapons just now building. So didn't go for that's right. Didn't get that earlier engineering, but is starting to get missile turrets up. We see two hovering over that assimilator, not the assimilator refinery at the natural expansion. We do have one turret at the main, but keep in mind this is going to be, and we do have two turrets over the barracks. Keep in mind this is going to be a larger and usually a larger dedication to Mutalisks to follow this up. Five Mutalisks engaging the medics away from the Marines. Artichurl able to pick one medic off, and that's actually a pretty big win early. All the Zerglings have been wiped out. I feel like that's an even trade, but one Mutalisks misrallied and getting wiped out as far as a turnaround. But with that medic killed... And Halcyon playing a little bit more defensively. And with, it looks like, eight Mutalisks out in flight, nine Mutalisks out in flight. Now Art of Turtle starting to pump drones. But he needs to keep an eye on this army, uh, keep an eye on the army and hunt it down. It looks like he's lost track. He is going to be able to kill a couple reinforcements. But Halcyon trying to micro, he is having some trouble keeping this group. Like the Kakuru sees it, having some trouble keeping that army cohesive. Only two medics in this group, you can keep in mind, but it looks like he's going to make a dive. It's an actual expansion. Another sunken colony would be enough uh, to provide defense here. The Mutal is trying to pull this back, but honestly, I feel like our turtle has to be careful and actually eats a lot of damage on that lingering Mutalisk. They're plopping two additional creep colonies down. Maybe the Mutals can buy some time for those to get up. It looks like that is going to, in fact, be the case. Loses one Mutalisk for the effort, but I think that is well worth it because he's going to be at least be able to survive. Dark Matter, expecting kind of Crazy Zerg again, is peeking up into that 9 o'clock base and finding nothing. Um, and I think he should have maybe expected that. Maybe not used to the three-hatch play comparatively. Ooh, and killing the Panda Bear thing. The Ursodon. That's bad mojo. Queen's Nest on the way to go ahead and get uh, Hive Tech up. And so this is kind of an adjustment. You, the thing is, is this is going to be two base versus three base, which is a big difference, which make these Medic Marines stronger in the early game. I'm looking for a starport to be started here in the back. We do have a bunker uh, prevent preventively being placed. And now Halcyon, yeah, kind of exploring, seeing if he can find the third that does not exist for Art of Turtle. And perhaps feeling we might be able to pick off an Overlord if he sees it. Is that Overlord going to be able to sneak out in time? So yeah, checking bottom right, finding nothing up here. Leaving a single Marine just in case that's uh, damaged. In the meantime, Artichurl making his way towards Hive Tech. He does have a Hydralis Den. I don't know if he researched Lurker Tech or not, but it's a lot harder to get things accomplished with just two gas than it is one. He does have Lurker Tech and starting to morph in Lurkers. So right now, Artichurl doing exactly uh, what his namesake suggests, being more of a Turtle Zerg. But this hasn't led into additional bases, and I don't think with these eight Mutalisks, with eight Mutalisks and reinforcements, he's going to be able to get a lot accomplished at the front here, which is going to allow Halcyon to kind of get into that mid game. Uh, yeah, e eating a lot of a lot of damage across those three turrets. Double starport, double control tower, and where's the science facility? There's the science facility at the main. 
Dark Matter kind of hanging out and kind of realizing that there's no third, ba uh, no third base is just staging his Medic Marine Force outside Art of Turtle's base. He can't press this without um, more forces, but he can get a contain and deny a third from this stage on. And if Art of Turtle doesn't do something to break out of this, it looks like he's starting to stage together a Hydralisk Zergling Force. And he is getting an Evolution Chamber and a Defiler Mount. Um, but if he can't press back and get established third of his own, he will end up in trouble over the long term. And it's a lot harder to press Medic Marine out of your natural expansion than it is to keep them out of a, or basically keep them out like midfield, um, defending from there. That was a weird statement. Uh, double engineering bay up. Weapons one is already online, working on armor one. And now the starport, both humming. We have a radiate on the way. That's kind of the critical component. If he can keep that science vessel count up and pick off the filers um, as they're making their way across, he will be able to go ahead and establish his third base and maintain map control. Nice overlord placement there by Arter Turtle. Seeing the Medic Marines as they're coming in place. The Lurkers trying to make their way out to the north, sweeping around, getting some nice field sweep. Medic Marines should be able to just back off of this and wait for them. Whoa, need to be careful. And wait for them to unburrow. And as soon as they unburrow, perhaps go into it. Or they're just going to get irradiated. There's a Comsat just engaging in this. Picking off a handful of Orcas and backing off. I feel like Art of Turtle got the worst bit of that exchange. Three Lurkers for, I think that was, what, five or six Marines? Halcyon needs to still be careful with this engagement. More Zerglings pressing forward. Getting wiped out. Still no Science Vessels. Now the Science Vessels re-engaging. The Lurkers... Yeah, getting wiped out on maneuver once again. One science vessel picked off by these Mutalists. Very brave maneuver. And was there an irradiate? I don't think there's a radiate. These are fresh science vessels. So a lot of lurkers being donated by Arter Turtle. He does have a defiler, is able to plant swarm, and that's going to force Halcyon off this, what, what I call soft contain. But he has got that mineral only producing in the meantime. So now it's basically macro versus macro sort of game. Are, it, well, it's more macro versus kind of unit control. Art of Turtle trying to swing around and establish his third at the 9 o'clock. Is sweeping in in position to do that. And it's kind of using some map control to try to press there. But he's not going to be able to slow Halcyon's third base. And really can't press a threat there, in my opinion. And establish this 9 o'clock third. Halcyon backing off. But if Halcyon just keeps up with his medic marine production, does need those additional two barracks, and keeps the science vessels produced, keeps the science vessels producing, gets his radiate up, and picks off these defilers as they're they're coming out, he will be in fine position. The Zerglings aren't really a threat until Hive Tech is up and until they, they have the that adrenal gland upgrade. And these Mutalisks, they need to be very careful. They're mostly going to be produced for scouting. Is this going to be end of them now? I'm waiting for the science vessels to just scoot over. I don't think they spotted them. Just to scoot over. And here, they're just kind of waiting. Looking for the irradiates. There's the irradiate. And this, yeah, this is the difficult portion. A nice dark swarm, but because it's open field, the science vessels and the medic marines can just go ahead and back off as that defiler dies. And that 9 o'clock base now exposed. There is a lurker on the lower ramp, but that can easily be irradiated and have things open up. So, ooh. But it looks like Halcyon just going to try to press forward. Does take that initial lurker out. Second lurker not in position. The Mutalists trying to engage the science vessels. Scourge able to take out some science vessels overhead. And it looks like the army just wasn't quite gathered and cohesive for Dark Matter to really push this up. He's continuing to drop some irradiates. Really wants to. Is ignoring the Mutalists primarily. It looks like they are getting taken out by the Medic Marines on the ground. But the two lurkers getting irradiated. Arter Turtle needs to get some sort of defense up here. He's moving up with a Defiler try to defend but there's a lot of science vessels overhead just looking to pick off that defiler and it looks like they are going to be able to get a free radiate here the medic marines moving in there's an initial dark swarm but the medic uh, the marines can just yeah move out no medics with this attack force though sorry yeah no medics with that attack force so they're actually going to be wiped out the defiler dies but halcyon's going to have the medics for whatever reason backed out entirely they just abandoned those marines to die they were like girl power forget you guys we're not going to die here. Scourge. Going to get on top of those science vessels. That's critical to keep that science vessel count low. Finally, the medics regathering and, you know. I don't want to be like, whatever. Come on, medics. That was just mean. That was mean. 
Just like, oh, you think you, you Marines are so high and mighty? Let's see how you do against, do against Zerglings when I just am not here. And that was the statement. Kind of the finger wave, and a lot of Marines died for that. Oof, brutal. So Lurker's now holding that top ramp for Art Turtle. I feel like still might have some trouble. The Medic, only a single Medic grouped up again. The Medic's still burrowing back. Yeah, the Medics are on strike right now. This is like a healthcare worker uh, strike. Saying, okay, so you, you doctors and your science vessels think you're so great, you do all the work with your Radiate. And only one medic is uh, crossing the supply line here. Two medics are scabs now, finally rejoining. <laughs> it looks like they've re they, the strike has ended, they've re-engaged. Some dropships are now out. This has been a common attempted counter. What it does do is it slows down uh, science vessel count. And if it gets picked off, it can be devastating because you're losing a huge amount of troops. But I think this is going to work out because Art Turtle, has, first of all, it was like a slow take on getting that third base. Additionally, Halcyon's really given a lot to think about. I like that spore colony to push those science vessels back. But there's a lot of tech. The Defiler Mound, Evolution Chamber, Queen's Nest, Spire, all sorts of juicy things. Plus, drones still mining here as these Marines are being unloaded. Able to at least slow down some gas. And it looks like it's just going to be pure Marine. Scourge wandering up. They're going to get wiped out. Lurker's trying to push up the Marines. Some of the Marines are able to sneak out. They're working on that Hydralis Den. That's going to be a critical take if they can wipe that Hydralis Den out. Focusing on the spawning pool now. Regrouping. Trying to move out to that right corner. Now working on that Hydralis Den. I don't think Art of Turtle is going to be in position to defend it. He's going to call GG. Because with that Hydralis Den down. Realizing that Halcyon's at three bases. And just keeping up with this Medic, Mount, medic Marine count. And also uh, the Science Vessel count growing. Feeling like he's not going to be able to take advantage in this match. So, GG, moving on to game three between these two. Been fun matches thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.